We're looking at questions 54 through 56 from the New York State Chemistry Regions exam, June 2015. Take a minute to go over these questions, answer them for yourself, use the reference tables, use a calculator if necessary, and then come back for the explanation. Okay, welcome back. Now, a lot of times what happens is students forget that there's information here above the table. This might be important. So make sure always that you read it. And you know, of course, with this solid line, that's these three questions involve all of the inf um, information, both on the table and what's above the table. So you're dealing with elements uh, D, E, and Q. They're located in period three of the periodic table. You have properties listed below. You're also given that the student's experimental result indicates the density of the element as 2.10, or element Q as 2.10 grams per centimeter cubed. So this might be important as you go through the questions. Let's take a look. Question 54, it says, identify the physical property in the table that can be used to differentiate the samples of the three elements from each other. Well, it can't be oxide formula. And that's chemical property, right? Bonding between atoms is chemical. So it's phase, mass, and density that's left. Well, it can't be phase because they're all solids. It can't be mass. They're all 50 grams, so it has to be density. So your answer for 54 is density. We go to 55. It says to identify the group on the periodic table to which element D belongs. Well, in order to figure out the group on the periodic table for element D, why don't we look on at a piece of information here. We actually have two pieces. One is, oops, let me erase this. One is I have the density, and it's 0.97. I could go, let me go to reference table S. Densities are listed here. I'm looking for 0.97. And sure enough, as I go down, it's here. So sodium has a density of 0.97. So they're asking about the group. Well, sodium, of course, is in group 1, or the alkali metal group. So there's my answer. Now let's double check. The other way we could have done this without going to reference table S was to look at the formula when it's bonding with an oxide. Notice it's D2O. Guess what? Oxygen, when it's going to gain electrons from a metal, it takes two. But it, notice it takes two atoms of the metal. So it has to be from group one. And what do I know about all the group one metals? They all give away one electron. So either way, the answer here is group one or alkali metals for question 55. Let's move on to question 56. We're looking for percent error. We're going to determine that, which means I have to calculate that between the student's experimental and the accepted density for Q. So if I go back and I erase some of this to make it easier to see. OK, so what do I need? I need to go to the reference table T. To get the equation if I don't remember it and don't re you know take a take the time to look it up here it is right here right percent error calculation it's always worth taking the time now if I go back to the paper here you're gonna put it on your answer key but I'm gonna put it down here okay so my percent error is my Measured value minus accepted value divided by accepted value times 100. Plug things in exactly the way you see them. So the measured value was 2.0. That's from the student. That goes here. So it's I'm running out of room, so I'm going to put it here. It's 2.0. I'm, I'm sorry, 2.10 minus the student value for Q was 2 divided by 2 
times. So now what do I have to do? I have to multiply it by 100. Make sure you use a calculator to calculate this. And in fact, I'm grabbing mine. Don't take any chances when you're practicing. Make sure you use a calculator. So it's 2.1 minus 2, which is 0.1, divided by 2. 0 0.1 divided by 2, which is 0 0.05. But don't forget to multiply by 100. So the answer is 5%. On the answer key, it said to not worry about significant figures. If there's a question where they want you to provide an answer with significant figures, you will see it in the question. This is New York Chem Coach. Check out more information about Regents exams, chemistry prep at www.newyorkchemcoach.com.